Hello my buddies, welcome to Capture Hood Recaps. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting recaps. Let's dive into world of entertainment. Just imagine you are in a plane and the pilot flying him dies of a heart attack. And let's hear our story. Today's story begins on the beautiful Ireland of Mauritius where a girl named Sir came for a holiday. Soon she fell in love with her driving instructor Jackson and both of them had many memorable sails there when Sir returned. Jackson asked him to stop with great hope. But Sir did not leave his job in London. But Sir did not even want to say goodbye to him so like. When Jackson went to the bathroom, she left without meeting him. When Jackson came back, Sir was not there and his heart broke badly. After one year Sir was in London and then one of his friends got a call. His friend was married in Mauritius and she wanted Sir to come there. Sir flew and in a short time he reached Mauritius. After this, she was all sitting in a bar. Then suddenly Sir's eyes fell on Jackson and she hid her face. Then her friend told that Jackson has opened her diving school. Then in the evening Sir went to a beach party. Then she saw Jackson again. With some courage, she went to talk to him, but Jackson was still going to be quite hacked. He left with a sister, but Sir still followed him. At first Jackson felt a little strange, but later he brought Sir to his house. Both of them started drinking alcohol together, and then Sir said that she misses Jackson very much, but Jackson was still angry because Sir had left him without informing him. Sir asked him to go with him to London, but Jackson knew that he would never be happy there. Then an argument broke out between them, but soon both of them touched each other and stayed together all night. The next morning, Sir's friend called him early because there was only one kayak girl to die on G-Silent. Now Sir had to be delivered as soon as possible, so she immediately went to her friend Freddy. Freddy was a pilot and he could take Sir to the island by his airplane. At this time Jackson also came and boarded the plane. Got sat because he also had to go to the wedding but he was very angry because Sir had come this time also without informing him. Well then he got out of the plane and Freddy called Sir to the seat next to him. Reddy taught him how to fly the airplane, so Reddy reminded him how to keep the plane upright in the air, and when the autopilot mode is used, in this way he has the power to help Freddy fly the plane, but suddenly Freddy started laughing loudly and Sir asked Jackson to bring water. The plane suddenly fell down on the steering in this round. Jackson's head hit the window and then an oxygen tank from behind came to the control panel. Now Jackson somehow removed Freddy from and Sir. Then he remembered what Freddy had said to straighten the plane. As soon as he was about to hit the sea, this sir straightened the plane on time and his life narrowly broke the child. Then Jackson tried to give CPR to Freddy but Freddy brother had fallen in love with God. Now Jackson asked sir if that plane was like Shakti High sir said that two years ago there was a little bit of crest but let's see I will run it. Maybe then he saw that the GPS of the plane was broken so he looked in his phone. But there was no signal in the air. Then he radio. Tried to talk to someone but there was no response. Finally he tried to turn on the autopilot mode but it was also broken and he had only half a tank flower child and it was almost impossible to reach any safe place. Now he guessed from the compass where he would get mana, but suddenly a fierce storm started rising in the sky. He did not understand what he could do and then the voice of a man named Samuel came from the radio. Sir told him that Freddy has died and now he has to fly the plane in the emergency. When we went closer, the signal went off again but in happy moments Samuel's voice came and he said that the storm is very big so he cannot go over it by spinning but before he can help anyone else. Once again the signal broke. Now Sir came to the pilot seat but suddenly there was a strong lightning on the plane and the whole plane trembled and shaking and he was in the middle of the storm and Sir was not seeing anything. So she decided to take the plane from the top of the storm. Then after A. A lot of time she brought the plane very high but at such a height Sir's body responds. And she fainted, due to which the plane once again started falling rapidly towards the storm and they were stuck in the clouds yesterday and it was completely dark all around and sometimes Sir came to his senses and he immediately handled the steering and straightened the plane once again with great difficulty. In a few moments he came out of this fierce storm, but now the fuel in the plane is very high. Now he pressed the button of the reserve tank. But he saw that the flower started decreasing again. Jackson felt that someone must be taken in the tank. So he took out to fix the stack on the wings of the plane. Tied the body with a rope and jumped out of the brave and came in front of the plane. Then as soon as he opened the engine, the fuel started raining rapidly on his face and he tried to close the leakage from the tape but due to the very strong wind. He had a lot of difficulty but as he taped and started coming back to the plane, 
but then his foot slipped and he was on the plane. Seeing that he hung from the wing, Sir immediately came to help him, but due to leaving the steering, their balance deteriorated again. Now Sir closed his seat belt on the steering so that the plane was straight, then he pulled Jackson into the plane. As soon as he tried and read his hand, Jackson collided with the plane loudly, but Sir did not give up the courage and pulled him inside with full force. But in this affair, Jackson's arm was badly injured. Then Zara thought of pouring the liquor ordered for the wedding, but Jackson first drank some alcohol himself and then poured it on the wound. This made his village very bad. It started moving and Sir said that she always thought in Jackson's enclosure in London, and in the same way we buttoned in the button she straightened Jackson's arm. After that she picked up a hanger and broke it and closed it with a bandage on Jackson's hand. At the same time, he praised Jackson very much because he saved his life by stopping the leakage. Sir saw that now only 5% of the fuel was left, so he decided to keep flying like this until he landed. Sometimes he thought that if he lightened the plane, the fuel could last for more fear, so he immediately threw many things down from the plane. So the vote below but many people were very scared but their trick was reduced and now the consumption of fuel decreased a bit, the rejection looked at. Sir and she understood that they would have to throw down Freddy's corpse too, thinking that Sir felt very big but. Jackson reminded her that it is most important for her to be alive at this time. After all, Sir reluctantly kept Freddy's picture of his wife and pushed her from the plane. This shocked her very deeply and she listened to a lot of fear. After that she regained consciousness and she started throwing bottles of wine. But Jackson said that alcohol is less fuel. Hearing this, Sir decided to pour alcohol in the tank himself because Jackson was already injured. Then he kept his life on the palm and slowly crawled on top of the plane and he. After opening the lid of the tank, Jackson caught him the bottle, but due to the pressure of the air being very strong, it flew away from his hand. Then Jackson managed to put him in another boat and this time Sir managed to put him in the tank. In this way he put three bottles in the tank and then when Jackson was holding the last bottle, the bottle fell from his hand and broke inside. Now Sir started coming back inside but suddenly her hand was shattered but she somehow grabbed the door of the plane, then went there, jumped into the plane and got into the sun because she could not believe that she was Tom Crumb for two minutes. After this, Jackson told him that perhaps he had seen an Ireland on the way, although again there would be a lot of foo in the issue, but Sir decided to trust Jackson's style. He immediately turned the plane and started looking for this island, but soon his fuel ran out, due to which the plane banded in the air, now he fell down rapidly. And Sir and Jackson understood that their end was near, they apologized to each other emotionally because they were both selfish and thinking only in their elder. Then Sir also told that he hated eating goodbye. Because there is a lot of regret after that. Then suddenly Jackson saw the same island again and now he had to land the plane there. Sir handled the steering and Jackson also supported him. But the plane soon went straight and hit the sea. After that the plane overturned in the water and both of them fainted inside. Then the whole plane was flooded and slowly slowly the plane started sinking in the water. Suddenly Sir came to his senses and tried to lift Jackson but to no avail. Soon the entire cockpit was filled with water, but Sir had not yet opened the door. But the door is on time. She managed to open and tire in the water and reach the top. Then she breathed and Jackson made a lot of noise, but Jackson had not yet come up. But Sir did not give up and once again he entered the water to save Jackson, immediately found a life in it put Jackson on it and took him upstairs, after which he dragged him to the island seeing him alive. The heads started laughing and both of them slept there due to fatigue. Then after a few hours, when they opened their eyes, they saw that the water was very close to them. Then Jackson realized that he was on the island. No, but on a sandy mountain, if no one came to save them, soon the waves would drown them. Soon the waves started swimming on the water once again due to the arrival of the waves but now there was no strength in his body. Now the head ran because even after so much effort, he failed and soon he will be absorbed in this immense sea. He expressed and Sir also touched him. Then both of them waited for their death in each other's arms. But a vote reached to save them on time and soon they reached there by tying up now. So Sir and Jackson's happiness knew no bounds. Why could not believe that he was alive? Then they promised to be together for life, Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting recaps.